welcome back to the Breakfast Show. Now, remember those days when you were a teen? Oh, that was too I, long ago. I don't think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to them. Yes. Remember those days when you were a teen and you thought, well, I can eat anything. I can eat uh, two burgers, a, fr a pack of french fries, mm -hmm. a milkshake, and go on after and eat a pack of nasi lemak, mee goreng, big and bag of chanai. Oh, oh, that's yummy. Nothing, there was right? A, there was one once, I had a one-on-one -on -one session with my friend. We went to a fast food uh, outlet and go, how many cheeseburgers can you go? We actually went for seven and he went for eight, okay? How do I, I did the, I, I did the pizza thing. Oh, goodness. Like, how many slices of pizza can you go? Oh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, let's go, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, those were the days. But you know what? Actually, in modern days times, mm -hmm. eating healthy uh, can be sometimes very tough, especially when you're a teenager on the go. There you go. And during this age where your teen is, you know, feeling quite invincible, like mm -hmm. how we did, mm -hmm. without a thought of consequences, uh, it is tough you know, as a parent, mm -hmm. to get them to try and even think about eating healthy. Exactly, of course, uh, they think they know what's best for themselves, that's the problem. Mm. And with kids now, they're busy with um, school, you know, you've got tuition classes, you've got ballet classes, you've got violin classes, football practice, you know. Um, healthy food is not always high on that priority list. And, oh. and you know, for, for many teens, you know, you've got a pack of crisps and a rumly burger, soft drink. Oh.